Okay, Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DCTH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis last week, uh, but after today's price action, definitely some update, updates here need to be made. The main point of today's price action is just simply with the bounce that occurred. And there's still work to be done, but there's no doubt about it. Bulls had a, a, a very nice move on that part. Now, I made the comment, work to be done. Well, what do I mean by work to be done? Well, that all revolves around here at the purple line, the 50 period, a simple moving average. And even if you have just a basic understanding of charts, I'm assuming you know that when the price is below that 50 period simple moving average, uh, it tends to act as resistance. And case in point right here, you can see that today, price got right up around that purple line and multiple times, you know, the, the price just couldn't quite push through it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the price, uh, you know, can't break through it. It's impossible or anything like that. I'm just saying that it makes sense why the price did indeed struggle up around that area. So uh, as far as levels of resistance going into tomorrow, uh, you know, definitely uh, that purple line there again, the 50 period simple moving average is going to be that key point of resistance. Now, what about areas of support? So in regards to levels of support, there's a couple levels here the, to, to map out and main one being right here at what I would call the ideal level. I mean, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? And that would be there at 20 cents. Now don't get me wrong. If the price falls below 20 cents, uh, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can stay above 20 cents, that would certainly make the chart look the uh, strongest going forward. Next level of support after that, down there at 16 cents. But as I talked about on Friday, from the big picture of things, you know, the grand kind of overall area of support is the pink line down there, which is the 200 period simple moving average. And I talked a, a lot more about that on uh, Friday just because the price was actually close to that. But given the separation of the upside, I'll just leave it at that. No point in talking about it any further because at this point in time, you know, it's not even relevant, you know, after the price action that occurred today. So very nice way to start off the week. We'll see if the bulls can uh, build upon this and push through that 50 period simple moving average or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.